tonight. It's simple. Um, I haven't done the back yet. I haven't stamped. I did cut the little paper to go back there and, you know, do the two from and then a little sentiment. But this is going to be pretty quick and easy, and I'll be using things from our kit. Now, this flower is white. Um, if you have the poinsettia petals dies, then this is, I think, the smallest one. Not the real small one, but the set smallest of the three uh, dies. Okay, so... Um, so this is the stuff that I had left over after we made the 12 kit, the 12 uh, tags. And then we also made um, a couple of, we, I showed you last week how to, to take the tags and make them into gift card holders. So tonight I'm going to take my leftovers. I didn't use my leftovers for this because I wanted you to see what we have left over. So one of these um, six by, I think this is two and one eighths by six. One of these I used for the gift card holders. So this is what I have left over. And then this is the, the card stock. So I made this one with red card stock. So I'm gonna make this one with green card stock. And I'll probably use the same paper, but I'll change it up and put a little red um, poinsettia on there. And let's see, as far as ribbon, should I use the red, the green ribbon, or the red ribbon, or the white ribbon? Where did the white ribbon go? It's the same color as my table, so I guess we'll decide on the ribbon later. But I do want to tell you, this ribbon is on clearance. No, it's not on clearance. It's going to close out. So I think it's like half price. This is gorgeous ribbon. It's Mossy Meadow. It, and it closed out price. It's a good deal. And then these, um, it, you need to buy, if you have the, uh, these are retiring, which means they won't have them. Now this paper, you'll see this paper again next year that we used. This is nice paper. This paper won't be available till next Christmas catalog again, but you will see this paper. So you might want to pick up the matching ribbon, a roll of matching ribbon. And if you have the pen poinsettias, you definitely want to pick up some of these um, beaded pearls. There's like 18. They're $4 now instead of eight. That's an awesome, awesome deal. And I think I've bought four, <laughs> four, four containers of them because uh, they're really high quality. They're they're not cheapo quality. Uh, they're beautiful. So just an encouragement. Get you some ribbons. Get you some of this. And if you want to buy some of this paper while it's still available before it's no longer available till next Christmas catalog. That way you can get an early start on your Christmas cards for next year. I'm thinking what I want to do is make Christmas cards for next year, this year, or at least before, you know, November, December. And then that way I'll have them all ready to get out on time. And this has been my plan for a few years, but it hadn't worked out that way. <laughs> but it's in the works. And so now that I have bought some of this beautiful paper, I think I will be set to get started on my Christmas cards for next year. So they'll all be ready. And then when the new Christmas stuff comes out next year, I will buy that stuff and, and then get my Christmas cards for the following year ready so that I am good to go and I don't have to feel bad. So this is... Um, Okay, so this is, um, these Ghirardelli's are not cheap, okay? I'll let you know that right now. I got these at Target. Um, did I bring the bag in? I don't think I bring the bags in. I think there was like, it's 20, 
four for like nine dollars, eight, seven or eight dollars. So they're, they're premium candies. So even though you only are putting two of these in here, it'll fit two. And these, these are the, the ones I like. They have some that would match the paper that are in a red and a green um, packaging. But these are dark chocolate, salt, sea salt caramel, and dark chocolate raspberry. These are my favorite. So, and they don't show that much anyway. So, um, uh, but that's that's a nice treat. Even though that's only two pieces of candy, these are like nice quality candy. So let's get started making it. So I have my, and, and you can see there's all different colors that you could, you can choose. There's reds that, that goes with everything. And so let's, I'm going to use the same paper but and this is like i said this is stuff i have left over from the kit the uh, christmas tag kit so the first thing i have i am make sure that this is an eight and a half size and i'm going to use my trimmer which has a little arm if you're going to do eight and a half you, you need your arm out so stick out your arm <laughs> I hope I'm not too close, and I hope I don't sound like I'm in a tin can. I'm working on my um, my volume. So this is the eight and a half side. So I need a two inch by eight and a, so I need to, to turn it this way. I'm going to cut two inches. So my eight and a half is this way. So I'm going to cut two inches and I put my score tip up there. So two inches by eight and a quarter. That's why I have to have the eight and a half. So eight and a quarter. So I just need to take a quarter of an inch off. So two inches by eight and a quarter. That's easy. Then we're going to bring it back in. Eight and a half is still this way. Then we're going to cut two and one eighths inch so there's two and one eighth and cut that and this needs to be six six and a quarter just two inches shorter oh that's eight and a quarter i need six and a quarter now if you notice there's this annoying little <laughs> um gap there but if you look really close, they actually have a little black, um, it's even, you can even feel it. The measurements are there, they're, they, you know, they should have made them white. <laughs> if they'd made them white, we could see them. And there might even be a way to do that, but six and a quarter. And then this little piece here, so, uh, two and one eighths by six and one quarter. Now this little piece that's left over, we want to cut it to one and three quarters and one and seven eighths. So one and seven eighths this way, one and three quarters this way. And this is going to go on the back. So one and seven eighths by one and three quarters. That's going to go on the back right there. Okay, there's our green. Maybe I need to get rid of these other colors here. It's kind of confusing, isn't it? So, let's get this out of the way. I do need that, and I need another one, actually. Okay, so the white is one and three quarters. Yeah, by one and five eighths. So we did cut this right. One and seven eighths by one and three quarters. And then we need whisper white, one and three quarters by one and five eighths. And that's it right there. Almost a square, but not quite. One and three quarters by one and five eighths. And that's gonna go on top of our Mossy Meadow. All right, 
now on to okay so what what was left over from the kit from our tags was a piece that's six by two and one eighth but we want this to be one and seven eighths so we're going to we want the six but we don't want the other so one and seven eighths by six now if you have if you've gotten six by six paper and you have strips like this left over this is a good um, and you can use this year-round it doesn't have to be Christmas you can switch out the little um, you know flower for something else that a heart or whatever for Valentine's Day so now we have our six by one and seven eighths and that is all the cutting we're going to do now we're going to do some scoring we're going to take our larger piece of mossy meadow which is two by eight and a quarter now I'm going to take a this <laughs> take one of these large and and um, put it here you can't see I'm going to put it here to keep my my cutting blade because <laughs> darn if I don't grab the wrong blade and cut when I want to score if I score when I want to cut it's not so bad but when I cut when I want to score that's not good okay so I've got um, my two by eight and a quarter I'm going to score it at three and three quarters so three and three quarters I'm flip it around I'm turning it I'm not flipping it I'm turning it around to the other side and scoring at three and three quarters so I've got a, in, in, a three quarters of an inch there in the center and that's going to make my little like this and then the next scoring I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two and one eighths by six and a quarter and I'm going to score at three quarters so three quarters, where are you, score, two and three quarters, slide it up there, two and three quarters, uh, three and a half, three and a half, and then five and a half, all the way over there five and a half and what that's going to do when we fold on all the score lines is going to make our little box part that's going to go on the inside to hold our candy okay and then we're not going to score our paper because we're going to do that a little differently so I think we're done with our scoring Oh, no, we're not. Sorry. <laughs> well, well, we are kind of for right now. We got to do some uh, punching. So this piece here with the three quarter inch, we're going to slide that in our delightful tag topper punch. I can't believe I actually remembered the name. It's taken me forever. And then we're going to do the other side. Um, I'm out of camera. Sorry, guys. I kind of have to stretch my arms to get out there to you, to you to see. All right, so there's that. Now, the only other scoring we need to do is you can see here, you can see that there's a, a little curve and then a little bump. Well, just above that little bump, on that side and that side, we're going to score across. So I'm going to fit, put that in here, just above that little bump, and score. And I'll do the same thing over here, just above the little bump. And then that way, um, we can um, 
it will be a nice little, when we go to close it, it'll have a nice finished look to it and it'll, it'll come together easier. All right, so now we are done with our scoring and our punching. And next, I guess we should do some stamping next. And here's our little pieces of Whisper White. Now we want the, it, it's kind of a, a little bit of a rectangle. We want it the long way going this way. So it's kind of horizontal. Put my punch away and get out my Stamparatus, which y'all know I love because what it means is I can stamp more than one time if I don't get it perfect the first time and I'm my middle name should be Miss Perfect Stamper because I do kind of like I like a nice deep rich color. So I'm going to use Mossy Meadow for this one and I'm going to use my plastic four by six window sheet. It's kind of got some sticky on it. I don't know how that happened. Um, so on this, get out our itty bitty Christmas. And I haven't chosen anything. I know I do want the to and from because obviously that is I want to be able to write who it's to and who it's from. That's a real handy stamp to have for all occasions, really, not just for Christmas. They have itty bitty uh, greetings too. So you could use the to and from here and then use the itty bitty greetings for like Mother's Day, Father's Day other occasions. I don't even know what all occasions they use that for, but I know there's a lot. So that's another good stamp set to get. Itty Bitty Greetings. It's in the annual catalog. Okay, so there's our to and from. I'm going to cut a little piece of scratch paper. And put that away and put some, uh, are y'all still calling this snail? <laughs> Maybe I'll put it on this and kind of get it so it's not so tacky. All right, so here we go. I like this side the best. It looks nice. And the longer side is this way, right? Yeah. So there's my to and from. I'm going to center it so it looks level. So this might seem like a little more work, but I still maintain that it isn't because you don't have as many boo-boos and you don't have to go back and redo. I'm going to try that lightly because I don't want to get the edges. Sometimes these little stamps, if you put too much ink on them, you're going to get the, the edges of the stamp too. Have you ever done that? Gotten the edges of your stamp? Well, I do. And that's why I try to start out, start out kind of... Uh, light and then I go heavy. So now I'm going to switch colors and it's all lightly dry. Sometimes I get too too crazy and then I move it and then it doesn't do work for me. So so I've got my to and from in green and where's my where's my <laughs> where am I? Here it is. It's a problem with clear plastic, it, 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 you can lose it because it's so easy. Okay, so now I'm going to put my other paper in there, and this time I'm going to use real red because this is the one that's going to go on the red, the one with the red cardstock. 
And I just want it to be matchy matchy, so. And again, oh, I've got to do this part first, huh? Line it up with my to and from here. Good. These, these magnets are way, way um, strong. Okay, here's my to and from. So I will clean off my plastic with my little Target hand and face wipe. Clean off my stamp. So we're done with our to and from stamp. So we're going to, now you guys will probably watch this later because this is maybe going too fast for you to do tonight, but you can see it all done and then you, once you've seen it done, it'll be so much easier to just, once you get the measurements, you can just crank out lots of these. So what's the next saying that I want? Um, what will go on there? That's what I like about these stamp sets too, is that pretty much what you see here is the size. So I like Christmas cheer. I like that font and it stamps really nicely and it'll fit. So win-win. So I'm going to put my Christmas cheer here. Pick that up, ink it up, Christmas cheer, and bring in my red right down here at the bottom. Now you can choose whatever you want if you like something else. Use that by all means. You don't have to do what I do. That's the good part about your own creativity. You can you can choose to do whatever you want. I'm just giving you a base to work with and you can take it from there. Okay, there's our Christmas cheer in red. Now we're gonna do it in green. So clean that off with my Target hand and face wipe. I don't know if they sell these in larger, this comes in like 25 count pack. I don't know if they sell it in a larger pack. So I dry that off really, really good with my microfiber cloth that I got when I bought my glasses. I've got like six of these around the house. They give them to you every time you get glasses. Okay. And here's Christmas cheer again. This time I'm gonna do the green. Put it on there, slide it under, line it up, and that looks good. Ink it up, this time with green ink, because we're switching to the green. So Friday, I'm going to um, show you the next class kit which is going to be uh, from the new, whoops, one's gonna be from the new catalog. And uh, the bundle's gonna be from the new catalog, which I can't show you the catalog, but I will show you the bundle. I've, I've thought about doing it tonight, but I'm like, well, I'll wait till my FYI on Friday, which I'm thinking now that I've got to pick up kids on Friday, so. I don't know if I'll be able to do my FYI on Friday. I might have to do it tomorrow. <laughs> How about that? How about if I do my FYI Thursday <laughs> tomorrow? But I've got to pick up the child at 2 tomorrow. See, they, they're they doing half days, and um, uh, some of the kids are out of school. So the older kids are out of school, and some of the kids are younger kids have to have half days, but moms have to work the whole day. That doesn't work, does it? That's That doesn't seem to work with people's schedules, but somehow they're supposed to. <laughs> so, 
I'm going to be busy the next couple of days picking up kids and taking kids to their house. And the older kids can stay by themselves. The younger kids have to um, have someone with them, which is me. I'm the someone. And so we'll see what happens. I may do my FYI Friday early in the morning. I'll just let you guys know because you know with me you got to be flexible because <laughs> I have to be flexible because I don't ever know from day to day what I'm going to be doing. And that's our stamping. I hope you guys are still with me. Um, when you see the paper that I'm going to use for my Valentine's Day class, I hope you like it. I hope you don't go, oh my gosh, is she serious? But, yeah, I'm serious. Okay, so here you have your little flaps. You're going to um, put some tear and tape there or glue if you want. I like the tear and tape because it's clean and but hard to find. Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, runaway tear and tape. You should put a warning on the labels. <laughs> you know, caution, tear and tape may run away on you. <laughs> okay, so I have two pieces of tear and tape there. I'm gonna burnish it because it just is fun to do. No. <laughs> It's because it helps it adhere better. And then I'm taking my take your pick tool, which is invaluable, because one side I have my pokey tool, and the other is for dies, you know, getting your dies out. These are the two I use most often, so those are the two that I have there on my take your pick tool. Now this one is easier if you just, how did I do this? You just fold it over and let it like kind of just fall down on there and was I even in camera hopefully I was and then you've got this part here that's what holds your candy in that's going to go inside here this I am going to use glue for because um, it, you do need some wiggle room with this so glue, 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 and then dots of glue, except that it's sticking. It, whoop, <laughs> I dropped the lid in the trash. If it, if it um, dries in the lid, it's, you just have to kind of pull it out and it, and it comes back to life for you. Then you have to fetch the, the lid out of the trash I like to call this real stamping. So I'm um, just going to put that in there and kind of have it meet. And then when I've got it where I want it, and it's matching on the bottom there and on the sides, I'm just going to hold it down till it, it, it's nice and firm. And it dries, it dries fast. It sticks fast for you. Be sure you get your sides good. And when you think that it's good and set, then you're going to take and do the side. I do corners first, not too close to the edge. And then the rest is however you feel. <laughs> So this is going to fold over like that and before it dries I want to set it up so that I know that it's going to set up straight. So make sure it sets all the way to the bottom and that is good. Now something sticky. There's a the part of the glue dot down there, I think. All right, so I'm just going to, you can see here along the edges, I'm just going to, once it's good and dry, not before, I'm just going to kind of push it 
like that and put a little bit of a crease there so that it bends sort of forward. And same over here. You don't really want to put a crease in it. You just want it to like kind of get it going in that direction. So now I have this. Next, we're going to do our paper. Um, you want to put the paper so that you have the same amount of distance between here and here, which is about an eighth of an inch. So put it there on this crease there and kind of start to fold it over. Fold and kind of pinch like that. Hold it firm and then bring it over, fold and pinch and then fold around, hold it in place, fold and pinch and then bring it around again to this side, mash it up and fold and pinch. And it should, it should be a nice uh, tight fit, not too, too tight, but tight enough that it's not going to wobble. So this is what I have now. So where I folded, I'm going to crease those, not with the bone folder, just with my fingers. And last one. Now on this side, You can see there's, um, this is what I have here. On this side, I'm going to put some tear and tape right here on the inside. Just one, one strip. One strip of tear and tape right here. But I'm not going to take that off yet. But I am going to start it so that it's easy to take off when I get ready to take it off. And now I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to start here, corner, corner, corner. Wherever there is a corner, you know, like you can see this is a corner here. That's a corner. This is a corner. But I'm not going to put anything on this flap here. And you don't have to be so precise if it gets to be too crazy for you. But just be sure you put enough on there to keep it so that it doesn't um, curl up on you or bubble up on you. And these are like little dots. And then I'm going to just put a strip there, but not again, not on this flap. Now, I'm going to come over here. Which is, this looks like more like the back right here. So, I'm going to put this down and, and put it in the center, like one eighth of an inch from the top to the bottom. Push that down like that bring it around and as I'm bringing it around I'm smoothing it out bring it around some more smoothing it out and then making sure that matches so I'm just pushing that down and making sure everything is peachy keen and foam folder is good for this too And then that dries pretty quickly. And then the last thing you're going to do is find where you started this. And then just fold it over. Like that. Alright, um, we're making progress. Now the front, um, I, made, I made white and red. The red comes in the kit, 
But if you have the poinsettia petals, you can you can do your own. You can do red or white. Let's see what looks best. We've got these these ribbons here. You should have one of each of those left from your kit. This is something I threw in just in case. Um, Mm. I like the red too, but you know, I really like that white. I think the white bright is bright. I think it just brightens it up. So I'm going to do the white, but if you don't have poinsettias, you can use whatever decoration you can um, think of. So I'm going to quickly bend these in half, the leaves in half to give them dimension because they they look more real and pretty when they have dimension. And like I said, be sure to pick up some of those beaded pearls. You will be kinking yourself later. <laughs> and be sure to use my current host code too, which you can still use that 9S something or other. It was, the host code's still good. It's not, um, it was the the kit, the kit was only good till the 10th, but you'll still get the 10% discount on your shipping if it's if it's a $60 order or more. Let me move that over a little bit. It's not quite centered. This glue dries so quickly that it is telling me you missed the boat, girl. <laughs> You miss the boat and deal with it. Okay, so here are those beaded pearls. They make they make the flower. So I really, really, really encourage you to to get it. You know, before I put that on, I'm going to do the back because it's going to be hard to do the back with that flower in place. So again, I'm going to use glue so I can move things around. Oop. Let's see, it's just a small, like a, a sixteenth of an inch. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do my red too. I, I made that earlier and I had to leave before I could take the time to stamp something to put on it. So I thought, well, when I'm doing the stamping tonight, I'll, I'll stamp then. So there's the red for that one. That, there's my, now you could hang this on a tree. It, it would, it would almost be a pretty ornament, but it's kind of heavy. So I would have to be a pretty strong tree. It would have to be a, an artificial tree because a real tree, it would probably bend down the branch and fall off. It's that heavy. Depends on what you put in it. I do know though that once this is over, I'm gonna eat one of those pieces of candy <laughs> because I I'm, I'm love the salted caramels. I like the chocolate raspberry too. Now this, if you did these, um, in, in a, if these are, these are relatively fun and easy to make. So I would suggest that you can make several of them in one night to sit and watch your favorite show and make these. So I actually got the idea from one of my teammates on my Uplines team, but it she made it a little differently. I kind of tweaked it to my own. She didn't use the inside part. She just used paper and she made it a, the, a little wider and she used a different punch, but 
<laughs> but this is, she gave me the idea. So I have to credit her for the idea for this of um, using the punch top here. And so, uh, let's see. So that's that. Now we need to decide. See how if that just makes that poinsettia, you just, you just got to go get those guys. You just got to. Okay, and, and I do like this green ribbon with the white, so you know what, I'm going to use that. Which side am I going to use? Mm, that's a hard decision. Um, I think I'm going to use this side. So you know how I do my ribbons. This is 8 inches of this striped, mossy meadow striped, diagonal striped ribbon. So I got two loops. I'm going to cross this one over the top of that one and make an X like that. Now you see a little hole here. Well, I'm going to push this one behind and through that little hole. So I'm going to make my X a little bit bigger. And bring that around. So I'm going to push through that little hole in the back there and then I'm going to pull it through pull both sides and then you can hold it in the center and adjust it to whatever size size you need pull tight and then hold it in the center make sure they stay That's a cute size right there. Yeah, that's a cute size. So I'm going to put a glue dot in the back. A couple of glue dots actually. One, two, and I'm going to put it about right here. Now that that's a little bit smaller than that ribbon but that's okay so I'm gonna just go across the... I've been using these scissors for paper that was the wrong thing to do definitely the wrong thing to do because now they're not good for cutting ribbon isn't that cute 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 so now we put the candy in. <laughs> Where's the candy? I know I didn't eat it. I'm just gonna set it in like this. I, it might go in the other way, but it goes better that way. Now I'm gonna get a 10 piece, a uh, 10 inch piece of that gold ribbon, and um, you can also use gold metallic uh, embroidery thread too. You probably remember this from the tags. So this goes in. Oops, I looped it. I'm gonna stick it in through there. And then with my loop, I'm gonna take my ends and put it through the loop and pull it tight. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. And then I'm gonna take and tie a knot here. Be sure to get all these little frayed ends in there or it won't work for you. It won't work at all. Alright, it's ready to uh, take to someone's desk at work or hang on a tree, um, put in a stocking, lots of things that you can do. Um, with this cute little, and you know, you could put a hand sanitizer in there if it's somebody that doesn't like candy. Well, maybe they like candy, but can't eat candy. <laughs> um, so it's it's a good, um, and this one, it doesn't seem to want to stay closed. You could always tie a bow there with this if you need to, to keep it closed. But it's starling. So, and like I said, switch out this if you don't want to do that. You could do a punch of the Christmas tree like that we used or um, 
the light bulb punch or uh, the moose punch, any of those will work here. A different die design if you have some um, different, you know, dies the, for doing die cuts, the metal dies. All right, well, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for joining me and love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.